Because the quality content that I will present you in just less than 3 minutes will be valuable and very useful to you. I don't think you will miss my video. So let's get started with the strong movie. Hey, folks, please watch my video till the very end because it has the potential to alter your life. Because an excessive consumption of oily or high fat foods may make certain illnesses worse. It may be good for those who have certain health concerns to avoid eating foods that are high in fat or oil contents. Before you begin watching the video, please make sure to click the bell button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you may watch more videos that are interesting to you. These are some of the health issues that are discussed in my movie, along with brief explanations, for which reducing the amount of greasy foods you consume may be recommended. 1. Cardiovascular diseases. Explanation. A high consumption of saturated and trans fats, which are present in oily foods, can contribute to raised levels of LDL cholesterol, also known as bad cholesterol, and triglycerides, which in turn increases the risk of cardiovascular diseases such as coronary artery disease, atherosclerosis, and heart disease. The following is a recommendation. Olive oil, avocados, and fatty fish are all good sources of monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats which are less harmful to your health than saturated fats. Reduce the amount of saturated and trans fats that you consume, which can be found in processed snacks and fried foods. 2. Asterisk asterisk gastrointestinal issues, such as gallbladder illness, asterisk. Explanation. Asterisk asterisk individuals who have gallbladder illness may experience symptoms when they consume oily and fatty foods. This is because the gallbladder is the organ that is responsible for storing bile, which makes it easier to digest fats. The following is a recommendation. Opt for cooking techniques that are low in fat, such as baking, grilling, or steaming. Incorporating meals that are high in fiber will help digestion. 3. Obesity. Explanation. Oily foods are often high in calories, and consuming an excessive amount of calories might be a contributing factor in increasing the risk of obesity. Obesity is a risk factor for a number of different health conditions, including diabetes and cardiovascular disorders. The following is a recommendation. It is important to maintain a diet that is well balanced, with a particular emphasis on lean meats, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Weight management requires careful regulation of portion sizes. 4. Acid reflux or gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD. Explanation. Consuming foods that are high in fat can relax the lower esophageal sphincter, which in turn allows stomach acid to flow back into the esophagus, which in turn makes acid reflux symptoms worse. The following is a recommendation. Choose alternatives that are low in fat or fat-free. Steer clear of processed and oily foods. The management of acid reflux might also be helped by eating smaller meals more frequently. 5. Individuals who have type 2 diabetes may have a worsening of their ability to control their blood sugar levels and development of insulin resistance if they consume an excessive amount of greasy foods. The following is a recommendation. Make sure to consume foods that are high in fiber, complex carbs, and healthy fats. To assist in the management of blood sugar levels, it is important to keep a balanced diet and monitor portion sizes. 6. Liver disease. Explanation. Diets that are high in fat can be a contributing factor in the development of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, and can also make liver function worse in people who already have liver disease. The following is a recommendation. Maintain a diet that is abundant in fruits, vegetables, and grains that are whole. Reduce the amount of saturated and trans fats you consume. The fact that dietary requirements might differ from person to person is an essential point to keep in mind, and it is essential that suggestions be tailored to the individual based on their overall health, medical history, and specific diseases. By consulting with a healthcare expert or a qualified dietitian, one can receive individualized advice and direction that is based on the specific circumstances of the individual. Follow, like, Share, subscribe, and leave a comment.